All right, boys, we doing a GPO video today. Yeah, I know. And you know, I've been playing the update a little bit. I'm not gonna say I've been playing it like crazy or anything, but this game is kind of off and on. And I, I noticed this and the cycle, it, it doesn't stop. The game doesn't completely die. So currently the game's got 17K, which for GPO is very good. Now, the reason I say for GPO is because this game is just inherently hard for new players to get into. And the reason for that is because all of the event items are just completely locked. They're, like, you can't get them ever, no matter what. Unless you trade for them, which trading for them is going to take also a lot of grinding. And if you're a new player who's just starting out and, you know, you want something good, it's going to take you a few days at least, you know. And you're going to be suffering through the entire time because it's just bandit beating. On top of that, I think new players don't even feel the need to grind any of the bosses because, uh, let's be honest, most of their items are complete garbage <laughs> unless you're like getting, uh, you know, a re really high level item. You might as well not even farm at all because you're just going to replace it in like a few hours after grinding. On top of that, a lot of these people want fruits so they'll just buy it or, or like, you know, they'll just buy the fruit or beg for a fruit, you know, it's really not that hard to get a legendary fruit anymore. You could probably just ask somebody in the trade hub and they'll just give it to you, even if it's shit. And realistically, this is a good thing because, I mean, that that is one of the good parts that does help new players get into the game because it is relatively easy. I wouldn't say it's as easy as other games like uh, Blocks Fruits, for example. You could literally just buy Robux and, or something and get it. Or you could just ask somebody and usually they'll just give it to you because they're so common. In this game, they're slightly less common, but still not the craziest thing. But that's not all. A lot of the fun game modes and all the fun uh, new things every update are always locked behind very high level requirements, right? Um, such as like Battle Royale, um, even trading. You have to level up to even trade for the good things that you're trying to grind for. Uh, and on top of that, you can't even play most of the game modes like... Um, Battle Royale and uh, Arena, uh, Dungeon, you can't play that until you level up. You can't even, you can't go to second C and do the new things. Uh, there is a new event in the first C this time, so that I think is very good. However, I, I haven't really done it. I heard that it was really annoying because of the, the trick part, but <laughs> I'll have to play it. Overall, I just think it's very hard to get into this game, and I, I just want to review that in this update real quick. So. If you don't know, I used to actually complain a lot about um, how GPO never updates. And now that I'm getting used to it after a few years, I don't really think that's the issue anymore. I don't think it's just like, oh, they update every three months and pe people are still going to come back after three months, six months, eight fucking months. They don't care. Aside from the Halloween event that I haven't played, I think that the Halloween Battle Royale map is all right. It's not it's nothing different, really. Um, it's not that different. The two new fruits are some hot garbage. I'm gonna tell you that. Those fruits, Jesus Christ. I would rather use anything else. These might as well be rares. Especially the gold fruit. This thing has no range. It is a combo fruit. Don't get me wrong. It is a combo fruit. But for anything else, it's garbage. Okay? It, unless you're playing PvP, unless you get this fruit in Battle Royale, or you're using it in Arena, this fruit is trash. Smoke, I don't know as much, but it doesn't seem that good either. I'd say it's nothing crazy. It's a pretty average fruit, but smoke, I don't think it's bad. Um, gold, definitely, definitely terrible. I, I really don't like it. I can see it being very good for combos and being very annoying in PvP, but I like looking at fruits in an overall sense, you know, so that's just me. I also think it does have some nice effects, better than smoke. Overall, two mid fruits that I'm probably never gonna touch. Um, I, I'd, I'd prefer like a fruit that I have to grind for or something, or just give us a V2, that'd be nice. Also, I don't know where Leopard is because they sneaked that like three months ago, I don't know. On top of that, I was very excited for the Galaxy Impact and the Iron Fist fighting style. I was very, very excited. Upon seeing the Galaxy Impact, that thing looked fire. And then I learned that it did 112 damage. Yeah. I haven't tried the GTA. I'm not going to comment on either of these weapons. Actually, any of them. However, I have been farming. And farming for fishes is quite enjoyable. Which is something that I never thought I'd say. The owner must have been playing fish recently. Because this fishing system 
is actually pretty good. The only thing I don't like about it, eh, I guess I'd rather be able to actually use my fishing rod on my Hiei Ice without it bugging out every 5 seconds, but that's just a minor nitpick. The fishing system as a whole is quite good. It is, it is quite enjoyable, and I do enjoy uh, getting more fish and, and fishing. I think they should probably up the chances for Sunken Anchor, because my friend has been f farming for multiple hours with a legendary and legendary bait, and he's gotten absolutely nothing. So maybe maybe up that a little bit. Or maybe he's just unlucky. I, I can't tell you. Now, as for all the balances, I don't really care, because I'm not a really PvP heavy guy in this game anymore. I don't really care to get good at the PvP. I only care to get good at the PvP in a game that I'm consistently playing, and I'm not consistently playing this. That's just the fact. It's no diss to the game. It's just, you know, I, I usually get on these games, make a video or two, leave. That's about it. Now, I do also think that this is a very good change. One of my favorites, actually. The option to discard fruit stored inside your all-seeing eye. I think that is a very good, very good change. But yeah, overall, this update as a whole is pretty mid. Um, it's nothing... I, I think the, the last update was better, to be honest. This one's kind of... Feels more like a filler to me, more like a filler update because these are two fruits that nobody really cares about. And let's be honest, the fruits are really the main thing in these updates. Like if y'all remember the Venom update, exactly. You know what I'm talking about because I said Venom. If I said any other thing that came in that update, like Vera's Whip or something, you'd be like, which update was that again? And I'm gonna be honest, I don't even remember what else they added in that update besides the venom fruit. I'm, I'm gonna be completely honest because that's all I used. But again, most of the main things in this entire GPO update like scheme that they have going on, this, this little plan that they got every, every time they update, I think the fruit is the main option and that's why I think this update is mainly slightly worse. However, other than the fruits, I think the Halloween event is eh, it's kind of to be expected. I do wish they added back old items that you could get like just with a lower chance or something i don't know and i do also like the fishing i think the fishing is uh, a very good um mechanic because it's it's very fun repeatable content um i wouldn't sit there for hours or anything but i would grind it for a little bit you know see if i get lucky type shit so i do hope they expand on the fishing and uh yeah make it a bigger thing but yeah let me know your guys's thoughts on this new update and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.